everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm back with some more snippets for you. So some little snippets of what I get up to during the week, mostly sewing related, but some little bits of chit chat here and there. My last video ended on Wednesday. So the last snippet you saw Wednesday. The reason for that is we've been away for the weekend. So we went down to Oxfordshire to stay with Sam's family on Friday as we had his Nana's funeral yesterday, which was Monday. So yeah, we were there Friday to Monday. We drove back after the funeral and the wake last night, got back quite late and then I've been at work all day today. So I'm feeling rather tired. It's been a long day. <laughs> so I got home from work at around quarter past six, six o'clock, quarter past six. We had a little bit of food and then I got ready to take some blog photos. So I am wearing the Paper Cut Patterns Nexus blouse. This is a blog project for Lubidoo Fabrics. So I was sent this fabric, or I chose this fabric. Laurel from Lubidoo Fabrics sent it to me. I chose what to make and I went for the Nexus blouse. I went for the gathered sleeves and cuffed version. I think I've made it a bit too big. <laughs> what I wanted was something that would suit me throughout my pregnancy. So I kind of erred on the side of caution and went bigger rather than smaller. And I think I've probably given myself a bit too much room, but that's fine. I think that I'd be able to wear this open with like a vest top underneath it, as well as wearing it buttoned up like this. So I am really happy with it. I love it. I love the lovely details. These buttons that I've sewn on the cuffs here were in Sam's Nana's sewing box. So Grace, who's a funeral we attended yesterday, her sewing box was passed on to me and I've enjoyed searching through and finding lots of lovely buttons to match with my project. And it just feels really special to have those on there. So yeah, I love those details. I've got the same on this cuff as well and I'm really happy with it. I will let you know when that blog post goes live. It should be tomorrow actually. It was supposed to be today but I had to delay it with being away for the funeral. So it should be tomorrow. So by the time you watch this the blog post should be live. If it is I'll link it down below. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I received in the post. So while we were away and we got back and there was some post there for me. So this is a pattern by a company called Durata Davies. As you know, I'm part of the Lamazi Fabrics blogger team and we have a WhatsApp group where we chat. So there's Liana who runs Lamazi Fabrics and then the rest of the blogger team and we chat in there. And Liana said that she was considering stocking Durata Davies patterns on Lamazi Fabrics website. And somebody suggested perhaps a couple of people on the team could sew up one of the patterns to see what we think of them and give some feedback before Liana goes ahead with stocking them. So I said I would love to because I had a little look at the patterns and I really like this one as a make for the baby. So it's called the Penny Romper. It goes from newborn to 24 months and it's for woven fabrics, so light to medium weight woven fabrics. So on the back it says, it's the sweetest little romper. This simple design with the classic vibe is perfect to wear either on its own during a hot summer's day or over long sleeve vests and tights in cooler weather. The pattern was designed to have poppers on the shoulders and leg inseam for easy access. It also features a front V-shaped yoke, inverted front pleat detail, all in one sleeve and neckline facings and elasticated hems. So I just thought that was so, so cute. I can see our baby in that. So I was sent this very kindly to test out and see what I think and then I'll give some feedback. I'll let you know what it's like and I'll let you know if Liana decides to stock these patterns over on Lamazi website. The other thing that I received that came today actually was a book that I purchased from a DStash account over on Instagram. So Holly, whose account on Instagram is Hull Stevens, she sold a few things over on a DStash account a couple of days ago and I opted for this because it's something that I've actually looked at and fancied before but never got around to buying. So it's a book, it's the Wendy Ward book of sewing with knitted fabrics and it's got everything you need to make 20 essential garments. So there are full size patterns in there that go from UK 8 up to UK 26 and it says it 
you progress from sim simple tank tops that are quick to make to a dress with a draped skirt that is perfect for special occasions. So I'll just show you some of the projects. So the first project in there is the peak t-shirt. Yeah, so we've got the peak t-shirt, which is just a simple t-shirt that you can make with long sleeves. You can make it as a t-shirt dress, just a very sort of boxy style, which looks perfect. A crew neck t-shirt. Then there's the Derwent wide leg trousers, which look awesome. So just a simple pair of knitted trousers, or you can make them as a short sort of culotte style. Then we've got the Winnet's tank, which is a tank top or dress style, which is lovely as well. Very simple sleeveless scoop neck top. There are some lounge pants, which I love. Love anything comfy. So quite similar to the Hudson pants, really. Just a simple pair of lounge pants there. Then we've got the Kinder Cardigan. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Let's have a look. So here's the Kinder Cardigan. This one has a bit of a look of the Helen's Closet Blackwood Cardigan. And then I like that shorter version as well with the colour block in. That's awesome. Yeah, really like that one. And the final pattern in there is the longshore skirt. Ooh, I like that. So it's got a really interesting pocket detail. I really like that look. Yeah, really like that one. And you can make that as a dress as well. So I'm really happy with that and it was an absolute bargain. So thank you, Holly, for selling your book to me because I'm really happy with it and looking forward to getting making with some of those. So I'm not sure what to do for the rest of the night. Well, the Newcastle matches on the TV, we're probably going to lose. By the time you watch this, we'll probably have lost. So I'll, I guess I'll go and watch that because even though I've fallen out of love a little bit with my football team at the moment. I still want to watch them and support them. So I'll go and watch that, but that doesn't kick off for a little while yet. So I think I might get started on a project that I've already got cut out. Ah, I know what I'll do. I'll finally start putting together this version of the Ebony, which is the one that I've talked about on here that I was going to do and I didn't get around to last week. So it's all cut out, ready to go. I think I'll just get my machine set up with some green thread and I'll make a start on that one just before the football. All right, speak to you later. Hi, just wanted to show you what I've done. I've literally done the first two steps of the pattern. So I have sewn my neckband together, right sides together, with a narrow zigzag stitch like that. I don't have the ironing board set up at the minute. I'm going to come up and do that at half time in the football. So I'll be able to press that open and then press this with wrong sides together. Then I have sewn the raglan seams for the, the raglan sleeves. I've sewn the sleeves onto the front bodice piece, basically, again with a narrow zigzag, just like, here she is, <laughs> just like that. So I'm going to then finish that on the overlocker. I've got it set up with black thread, so I'm happy with that because it's quite a lot of black in the fabric. So I'm going to finish those seams on the overlocker at half time, and then I'm going to press them. And then I will attach the back bodice piece on and finish with the overlocker as well. So I think I'll be able to get that done at half time because I've got 15 minutes at half time to get those things done. I think it's really important when you work or if you've got other responsibilities that take up a lot of your time, it's really important to try and fit sewing in where you can and when you can. Today, the last thing I wanted to do when I got home was to, you know, do myself up and get ready to take some blog photos or even to set up my sewing machine and do a bit of sewing. I just, I was tired. I could have easily sat on the sofa and fallen asleep as soon as I got in, but I really pushed myself to do it and I'm so pleased that I did because by the end of, well, half time in the football, so by nine o'clock, I will have, you know, most of a dress, which is brilliant. So it's just those little steps, taking those five, 10, 15 minute chunks wherever you can. I think they really add up and 
you know you could get a project finish over a couple of days just by doing that so top tip <laughs> break up and you know take time wherever you can get it in between putting the kids to bed and having your dinner or whatever it is take those few minutes get a little bit of something done even one stage in a pattern and you'll feel such a sense of achievement right I'm going to go and watch the first half of the football hopefully we don't do too badly and I think I'll also get changed into my pjs so if I come back onto here at half time I'll probably be in my pajamas <laughs> but it's cozy time now it's eight o'clock so I'm off bye <laughs> Morning. You wouldn't realise it's morning, but it's actually like quarter past seven a.m. So yesterday I had planned on coming upstairs at half time. Come on then, <laughs> coming upstairs at half time in the football and doing a couple of sewing tasks. I didn't end up doing that because what I did was some sewing related tasks on my laptop instead. I was nice and comfy on the sofa. So this morning I had a few spare minutes before going to work. So I got up and did those tasks <laughs> this morning. So I set up my ironing board, I pressed the neckband wrong sides together so that's ready and I also finished those raglan seams on the overlocker and pressed them. So let's see if I've got any time. I've got about four minutes I think before I need to be getting ready to go so I'm going to sew the back bodice piece onto the sleeves now. So that was a super quick five minutes. I've just attached the back bodice as well and overlocked those seams to finish them and I've pressed them. So now I've got the whole of the bodice and sleeves joined. When I get back tonight, I can attach the neckband, sew up the side seams and then there's only hemming left to do. So that was so quick. I might wear that for work tomorrow actually it's all done so I'm off to work now I've got a full day of teaching today so I'm going to be very tired I'm already very tired <laughs> oh and if you're interested Newcastle did win the football last night <laughs> so we're into the next round of the FA Cup which is uh, strange it hasn't happened for a very long time <laughs> but we're into the quarterfinals which is awesome <laughs> I'll speak to you later <laughs> It is Friday and I'm home from work which means it's the weekend, hooray! <laughs> so I took delivery of a couple of parcels this morning, well I went to collect them from the depot actually and I just wanted to show you what I've got. First thing is some fabric that I'd seen on Instagram and absolutely loved and it's this incredible paint brush effect viscose jersey it's so beautiful I love how bright it is and it's obviously being viscose jersey it's got that lovely drape to it so I'd seen this on Instagram on a few different fabric shops and I was going to purchase it from material girl Laura but then she sold out of it unfortunately because obviously it's so amazing so many people wanted it she sold out of it and I then saw it on another fabric company's site called Bobbins and Bolts who are based in Harrogate but they sell online so I ordered what they had left of this which I think is 2.2 meters and I'm going to make the closet case ebony but the dress version so I absolutely adore that it's just so bright and colorful so that is going in the pre-wash in a few minutes then oh I also to tip it over the threshold for not having to pay any postage I ordered just half a meter of this beautiful cat print cotton it's got cats on and little succulents and little house plants I just thought that was really really cute it's on a lovely lilac background and I'm just going to make myself something with that like a little makeup bag or something but yeah I just thought it was really cute obviously it's got cats on so it's my favorite sort of thing and I didn't want to pay postage so treat myself to that as well. Then the other thing, the other order that came is from Felicity Fabrics. I haven't actually opened this one because I wanted to show you how it comes packaged because it's incredible. So Felicity Fabrics, yes Siggy, 
Come on then, if you want to be in the video, you'll have to jump up. Here she comes. So Felicity Fabrics are quite a new fabric shop. They are run by a mother and daughter, Caroline and Fliss. And I've ordered from, from them before and absolutely loved what I've received. They contacted me quite recently to ask me to write a blog post for them, which went live, I think about a week ago. So I'll link that down below if you'd like to go and have a little read of that. They've also asked me to do a second blog post, but this isn't for that. This is things that I've ordered for me. So I just wanted to show you what I've got. And Ziggy's just having herself some little tummy tickles down here as well. Hello. <laughs> So when you order from Felicity Fabrics, it comes in a beautiful box like this. Can you hear your brother? Can you hear your brother? Chester's crying in the background. What's he whinging for? So then you open a box and inside this box, there is an envelope and then the other things that I've ordered. So we've got a pattern here and then this is the fabric. So I thought I would show you the things that I did order. I just think it makes a really lovely gift. Like if you wanted to order some fabric as a gift for somebody, it just looks so beautiful when it arrives like that. So I think it's perfect. So the pattern I ordered is a children's pattern, a baby pattern. And it's from, is it I Kate? I Kate? <laughs> Couture, a French company, and it's just this little sort of sweatshirt and trouser pattern, but it's really, really cute. It's called the Cordoba. It's a unisex two-piece PJ set. And one of the main reasons I placed an order this time with Felicity Fabrics was that they had 20% off with the Inner Haystack digital sewing subscription pack you got a 20% off code this month for Felicity Fabrics. So I thought I would put that to good use. So I got 20% off this pattern, which is really good. I plan on making some clothes for baby in this, with this, sorry. It's a harem pants and kimono style sleeve top. It's a loose fit, elasticated waistband in heavy rib and heavy rib at the cuff or ankles. I think that'll make lots of really cute PJs. Speaking of the baby, I think they're having a little growing spurt because my back has been so sore this week, like really, really sore. So I think they are growing quite a bit at the minute. I'm 22 and a half weeks currently. So yeah, I think around this time the baby does tend to grow quite significantly. So I've been attached to a hot water bottle <laughs> constantly. I sat at work for a lot of today with a hot water bottle on my back. Poor me. <laughs> so yeah, that's my pattern. Well, I'll open my little envelope now and see what's in here. So I've got a little note from them. It says, hi Tamlin, thank you so much for your order. The blog post you did for us was amazing and we think you looked beautiful in your hinterland dress. Ah, oh, so lovely. We can't wait to see what you make with these lovely fabrics. Happy sewing, love Caroline and Fliss. That's a lovely little note. Then they always send swatches through with your order. So swatches of the fabric that you've ordered and then they've also sent me a swatch of something that I'm interested in possibly using for my next blog post for them. So I can have a little look and see how that feels and see if it would work for what I'd planned. So the swatches come on these gorgeous little cards. And then on the back, it just tells you what the fabric type is, the composition, the fabric name, the width, the care guide, and also the price. So that's just a really lovely little thing that you can keep in your sewing journal or just in your sewing room to keep track of what you've got in your stash. And now to the fabric. Oh, so I've got two actually. My fabrics are wrapped up separately, which is really nice. The box is now empty and Ziggy's obviously got straight in there. So the first fabric I ordered is a chiffon and it's just black with gorgeous dots all over. You might not be able to see the dots on the camera, but I really, really love this. Let's see if I just get out one piece. There you go, you can see them better now. I ordered a metre and a half of this. I loved it when, sorry, Ziggy's ear. <laughs> Ziggy's like right 
here. <laughs> oh, I've got both of them now. Hi Chester. You haven't been on camera before, have you? I wonder if you might come on camera. Hello. Do you want to be in this box? Be in there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So the first blog post for Felicity Fabrics was written by Holly, whose Instagram handle is Hall Stevens, and she used this fabric to make the Joy Blouse by I Am Patterns, I believe, and I really loved it. So when I could get 20% off, I thought, why not? I will get some of the same fabric, but I'm planning on making, I think, the Wilder Gown Blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Chester. Gave him a fright. Chester. Oh no, he's gone. Chester's very jumpy, he jumps at the slightest thing and I just knocked the box and it frightened him, bless him. Right, so that's my chiffon. I'm going to overlock the edges of this before I put it through the wash because I don't want it to fray too much. And then the other fabric I ordered is, let's see, a Lady McElroy tensile. Oh, it's so soft. It's a really dark navy blue. It's got little flowers all over, so it's got these lovely daisies and then these little pink flowers as well. And I just thought that was beautiful. It's so soft, I really can't tell you how soft that is. So I've got a metre and a half of that as well, just again to make a blouse or a shirt with that. So I really love that as well. So those were the things that I received in the post. I just love receiving things in the post. I mean, I paid for all of those. None of those were gifted to me. But I just love receiving things. I like getting things when they're on a special offer or a discount, of course. Or just treating myself now and again to something that I really, really like. So what am I going to do? Well, we have a free weekend at home. We don't have any plans, but we really need to start getting this house in order in preparation for the baby. So we are going to try and do some decluttering this weekend. We've got a lot of shifting around to do, like moving around of rooms, but before we can do that, we need to declutter. So we need to be brutal and get rid of lots of things. That is our plan for this weekend. I'll also try and get some sewing done as well and I'll take you along with me. But for now, I'm actually going to go downstairs, make a cup of tea, put my feet up, and I'm going to watch today's Project Runway because it's Friday and the best thing about Friday is the new episode of Project Runway is released. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to go and do now. I may speak to you later. Bye. Morning everyone, it's Saturday morning. It's around, well, it's exactly 9.40 a.m. I've been up for quite a while now. I had a lovely, little sit with a cup of tea and reading a book this morning which is one of my favourite things to do and I just thought I'd come on and fill you in on what we're going to be doing today because we're going to film a little bit now and then Sam's going to edit the last few days of snippets and upload them so I just wanted to sort of film a little round off to that video let you know what I'm up to today because we're actually going to have quite a busy weekend I know we I said yesterday we've got no actual firm plans we're not going anywhere but there's a lot that we want to start to get done in this house my hair is still wet so if it looks a bit um out of control it's still wet and I've just put on my paper cup patterns nexus blouse with a pair of leggings today baby is growing quite a lot at the minute so leggings are the way forward for me right now so today I've got a list of things to do which is quite long essential things are to go to the post office I've got all of my d-stash fabrics that people purchased from me to post so I need to go and do that I've got a parcel to return and then I need to go to First for Fabrics. And yes, I need to go. I don't just want to go, I need to go. I'm doing a collaboration video on YouTube with Juliet Uzo, who won the Great British Sewing Bee last year. Her channel is called So So Natural. And we are doing a little collaboration video together. Unfortunately, we won't be filming together because she's in London, I'm in Newcastle it's not really going to work but we have had communication we've discussed our idea for the video and we will be uploading that in a couple of weeks so I need to go and buy some fabric for that specific project and I've got some quite cool ideas I just need to see 
what fabric I can get to match those ideas. Hopefully Firsta Fabrics will sort me out, I'm sure they will, they have an amazing range. I also want to have just a little browse of their stock, I need to get something a little bit secret that I'm not going to tell you about. And also I've got a voucher to spend actually. So Jane, who is Loopy Mabel's Closet on YouTube and Instagram, met up with my mum last week and I had sent some things for Jane. So Jane did a sewing room tour like update a few weeks ago and I discovered that the Calax unit, the IKEA Calax unit that I have and lots of other sewing people have, Jane had as well and she had some boxes that go into them into the different sections like with a floral design on and I had those same boxes on the bottom two shelves, the bottom two rows of my unit now I'd planned on getting rid of all of my boxes because that unit is going to stay in here when this room becomes the nursery and we're not going with a floral theme, we're going with a space theme and that was also planned before we found out the sex so no assumptions there <laughs> and here she comes, here's little Zigaliga, Zigaliga <laughs> so I knew I was getting rid of my boxes Jane was talking on her video about how she actually wanted some more of the boxes but they didn't stock them anymore in Ikea they've stopped selling them so sorry huge <laughs> so I messaged Jane and just said by any chance do you want my boxes I've got eight of them I could send them with my mum when she comes to meet you for coffee and there you go so I did she said yes she would love them so I sent her those and I also had a blind for this room in the same design that we slash Sam never actually put up. So I also offered her that as well which she said she would really like. So in return she bought me a voucher for First for Fabrics which is really lovely. I wasn't expecting that at all so thank you very much Jane. So I can go and spend that as well and treat myself to something or purchase the fabric for my collaboration video with Juliet which would make more sense. So yes, that's the plan for this morning. Oh, this hair of mine makes me hot. Ziggy's just trying to get herself comfortable. <laughs> She's currently on top of the cardboard box I was showing you yesterday from Felicity Fabrics. <laughs> so once I've been to First for Fabrics, I'll come back and we are then going to try and do some serious work in this house today and tomorrow. So I mentioned yesterday decluttering, so getting rid of loads of stuff, charity shop or bin if it's, you know, not useful anymore. And then I also, or we want to start changing around the room. So we need to move a wardrobe from the top floor down to the middle floor, move a sofa bed from this floor up to the top floor. So it's quite a lot to do. I won't be doing any of the heavy lifting, by the way. I will supervise Sam doing that, but I will be able to do some of the cleaning and the decluttering because as soon as you move something, it needs to be cleaned behind. So I'll be doing that side of things. So yeah, that's sort of what I'm up to today. I just thought I'd let you know. Hopefully I will fit in a little bit of sewing today and tomorrow still. And if I do, I will film some of that, but that will go into the next video because this one's going to be finished off in a few seconds. So thank you very much for watching this week's snippets. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been up to and I will see you again in the next one. Happy sewing. Bye.